Alrighty, here we go. Hey there, everybody. It's a nasty one here again. Welcome back to the next episode of the Heaters franchise, even year number one. Last episode, we took on the Beagles for the first of three this season, last episode, and we lost in extra innings, five to four, the final in 10, as we gave up a pinch hit walk-off double to Poke Foster to score the winning run in the bottom half of the 10th inning, allowing the Beagles bullpen to rally back and vulture a win, as they scored three runs in the last three innings to get the job done, or three runs in the last four innings of the game, I should say, after we led the game four to nothing to start, we ended up pissing it away. Uh, with that loss, we're now 2-2 two and two on the year, and we're entering the last game of the five-game road trip to start the year. We are taking on the Jacks today, the only time we'll see them in the regular season this year. On the mound, making his debut is right-hander Jamison Cole, the veteran 29-year-old, making his first start in the Super Mega League. And on the mound for Donk, uh, the Jacks is left-hander Donk O, oh, their newly acquired ace, who they picked up from the Platypi in the expansion draft. Oh, oh, and one. He has a 2.84 ERA and a 1.42 WHIP. Both teams come into the matchup at two and two on the season. Leading off for us today's game is center fielder Ray's Rufo, who's locked in, and it's left fielder Slapper Glute in the two slot. Batting third rookie shortstop Jesus Gold. Batting fourth third baseman Theodore Stiffner. Batting fifth, making his first appearance, rookie first baseman Alan Hinton, who we picked up in free agency at the end of last episode. Batting sixth, also making his debut, backup catcher William Donovan, as he was picked up in free agency at the end of last episode as well. Batting 7th, rookie second baseman Dion Bass. Batting 8th, rookie right fielder Volt Bolter. And batting ninth, rookie pitcher Jamison Cole. Let's get it on. So we head to Founders Field for the fifth of five straight road games here to open the season. Jack's offense is, of course, their um, bread and butter here. They have a lot of contact on the roster. They also have a lot of power as well. Not as much as their contact, but it's a pretty good amount. They also have a really good defense and a really excellent bullpen however their starting rotation and their speed non-existent so this is a very much a team of extremes here uh, right now they're a little bit of hit and a little bit of miss they're trying to find their identity here this year uh, leading off for the heaters it'll be Rufo glute and gold Leading off, rookie center fielder Ray's Rufo is locked in, hitting 474 with three RBIs on the season as he's raring to go against Donk O. Oh. Here's the stat line for O oh from his first start. He did take the loss in that outing, going six and a third innings in a quality start. He gave up two earned runs. Good enough for a 284 ERA and a 142 whip. Seven hits surrender with two walks, a homer, and six strikeouts. Batting average against on the year for O280 oh, as he did not get any offensive support in that outing. See how he does here. Lefty-lefty matchup to start the game. Heater in there at the letters. 0-1. Change up in there. Low. Ball one. Just missed the zone. Fastball put in. Foul back. One and two the count. Slider away. Rufo goes with the pitch. Drives at left center field. Hits it pretty well. Tracking it as log freely as the left fielder runs it down for the first out. Now to bring up left fielder Slapper Glute. Rookie hitting 294 with a homer and four RBIs. Still the only batter in the lineup to go yard this year. Fastball down and then strike called, 0-1. Heater down and the way, strike called, 0-2 the count. Fastball, but then chased it, strike three. First punch up for Donk, oh, two down. And now to bring up rookie shortstop Jesus Gold, hitting 222 on the air with a RBI. That's a two for nine, and he has power versus left-hander active here against the southpaw, O. Oh. Change up in there at the knees, 0-1. Fastball up, grounded then the hold a second. Nice diving play by Buffler to his left. Makes play to first in time, and that's 1-2-3 inning for Donk O. Oh, bottom one, we're scoreless freely. Buffler and Sparks do up for the Jacks. Facing rookie starter Jamison Cole. Batting leadoff today for the Jacks. Left fielder veteran Log Freely hitting 091. No homers, no RBIs on the air. He'll be the first batter to face rookie Jamison Cole. Right-hander, 29-year-old, delivers his first pitch fastball outside. Has accidentally hit the button. Here's the lineup for the Jacks. After him is rookie second baseman Huffley Buffler, who's locked in. Then it is third, batting third right fielder Betty Sparks. Batting fourth, rookie third baseman Juice Jackson. Batting fifth, center fielder Batch Wilson. Batting sixth, shortstop Rob Glover. Batting seventh, first baseman Downtown Upton. Batting eighth, rookie catcher Tough Lift. And batting ninth is the pitcher Donk O. Cutter inside from Cole is ripped to third. Right at Stifter, who makes the catch on the liner. One out. Buffler do up next. He's locked in, hitting 471 with two homers and seven RBIs on the air for the second baseman. For ball away, check swing strike called 0-1. Cole has pretty good stuff out there on the mound today. He just doesn't know how to control it. 
Change up and in. Skyed out to left center field. Rufo coming over. Calls off Glute. And he'll put it away for the second out of the inning. Now to bring up right fielder Betty Sparks with outside pitch active. Hitless on the season. First pitch cutter up. High ball one. Change up middle in. Sparks is out in front of it on the swing. One and one to count. Pass but down and in is low. Two and one. Curveball up and in is way high. Three and one to count. Cutter middle in. Check swing strike. Full count now to Sparks. His tough out activates as well for the outfielder. Peter up and in. Blew it by her strike three. First career punch out for Jamison Cole. And that is one, two, three. First inning for the rookie. To the second. We're scoreless. Stiffner, Hinton, and Donovan do up. Leading off the inning, third baseman Theodore Stiffner, veteran hitting 368 with an RBI on the air, coming off an 0 for 5 performance last episode against the Beowulfs. First game he's been hitless this year. Curveball in there at the knees, 0 and 1. Slider in there at the knees, 0 and 2 as O's quickly ahead. Chase the fastball high, strike three, second punch out for O. One down, and that'll bring up rookie first baseman Allen Hinton making his debut. This is his first career at bat in the league. Let's see how he does. Batting in the five slot today. Rookie takes fastball high. Ball one. For ball away. Outside. 2 0 the count. Look out now. Slider at the knees. Driven by Hinton to right center field. Welcome to the league, rookie, as that is long gone. Fireball coming at you. Right center field in his first career at bat. First strike he sees. Allen Hinton cracks it over the right center field wall. Heaters lead 1 0. That's why we got him. <laughs> Next up, rookie catcher William Donovan also making his debut. This is his first career at bat. Recently picked out a free agency along with Hinton last episode. High pitch active for the backup catcher, giving Hank Hart a day off. Change up in there at the letters. Just caught the zone. 0-1. Heater up and in is inside. Off the plate. 1-1. One one. Slider at the knees. Grounded up the middle. Backhanded by Buffer to his right. Make the play at first. Two down. Base is empty for second baseman Dion Base hitting 267 with an RBI on the year. O sets and fires. Heater is low. Ball one. Heater low, and this time it's in the zone this time. One and one. Change of outside. Dribbled and pulled the third. Jackson fields it cleanly to first, and that'll end the inning. But the heater's on the board thanks to the home run by rookie Allen Hinton as he his first career hit in the league is a home run. One nothing to the bottom of the second. Jackson, Wilson, and Glover do up. JJ leading off the inning. Third baseman rookie hitting 313 on the air with a homer and four RBIs over at the hot corner for the Jacks. First pitch curveball down in the way. Pulled foul behind the plate. 0 1. Fastball at the knees. That's ripped up the middle on the ground. Base hit for JJ as Jackson on with a single. First hit today for the Jacks. Mojo up for Jackson as he's locked in. And that'll bring up center fielder Batch Wilson. Former B. Blowfish outfielder. Contact was right-hander active here for Wilson. Hitting 500 with a homer and an RBI. There's pitch change up in there at the letters. Ground and then a hold short. Under Gold's glove into left center. That is a base hit as he just didn't have the range. Two on and none down now for the Jacks. As they're in business here for shortstop Rob Glover. Utility infielder hitting 300 on the year. Low pitch active for him as well. First pitch cutter up and away. High ball one and just outside as well. Fastball up and in, way high, 2-0. Change up up, check swing high, 3-0. Cutter in there and down the middle, check swing strike, 3-1. Fastball up, chased it high, full count now to Glover. Ball up, pulled foul, we'll do it again as he stays alive here. Change up inside, misses, ball four. First walk for Cole. Bases loaded, none down for downtown Upton, the first baseman. 182 average on the year for downtown. He's got a homer and an RBI as well. First pitch cutter down and in his way inside. Ball one. Fastball down in the way. Strike called. One and one. Change it down and in. Low. Two and one. Third ball middle of the way. Strike called. Two and two the count. Cutter down in the way. Grounded the third. Stiffner there on the back end. Fires home for one. Donovan the first. 
just in time. Double play. Five, two, three. Is that's two down. Runners at second and third now for rookie catcher. Tough lift. Only batting a buck fifty-four on the air with an RBI. Is that could swing the momentum in the heater's favor? There's pitch cutter up and away is outside from Cole. Ball one. Throw ball down in the way in the dirt. Good block by Donovan. Two and zero the count. Change up up. Check swing high. Three and zero. Fastball at the knees. Check swing strike. Three and one. Cutter down and in. Swung over it. Full count now offering coming to lift. Change up up. Way out in front of it. Strike three. Swinging and Jamison Cole pitches his way out of a jam. To the third. It is one to nothing. Bolter, Cole, and Rufo do up. That was the second punch out today for Cole. Rookies delivering early for the heaters. Bolter, Cole, and Rufo do up. Right fielder Volt Bolter leads off the inning. Eight hitter hitting 375 on the air. Very respectable numbers for the outfielder. Facing O. O sets and fires. Heater low. Ball one. Change up down and in. In there at the knees. One and one. Heater up and away is high. Two and one. Fastball down and in. Swung late. Two and two. The count to Bolter as tough out activates. Fastball at the knees. Softly lined to right center. That is into the sliding glove of Betty Sparks. What a play. One down. Base is empty for rookie pitcher Jamison Cole. First career bat coming for the rookie. So he's locked in following the jam he got out of last inning. Change up low, ball one. Fastball up, swung through it, one and one the count. Fastball up and in, chopped the second, right at Buffler on the backhand. Two down in the inning. Base is empty for Ray's Rufo, 0 for 1 today. Center fielder looking for his first hit today. Coming off a four hit game last episode. Change up in the dirt, ball one. Chase the fastball high, I don't know what I'm swinging at, one and one. Fastball up and in line to left field as that's dumped in front of Freely for a base hit. Rufo on with a two-out single here in the third. That'll keep the inning alive for Slapper Gloop. 0 for 1 with a strikeout. Chase the fastball high in his first at bat. He is now tense. Fastball low, ball one. Fastball up and in. Line past the diving first baseman into right field. That is a base hit. Drawing the throw and retreating the second is Rufo. Two on and two down now for the heaters as Glutes back to neutral. That'll bring up rookie shortstop Jesus Gold. 0 for 1 today. Grounded at the second is first time up. Let's see if the rookie can deliver. Throw ball down. Grounded up the middle. Base hit into center field as that is through into center. Wilson comes up throwing for the plate. Cut off by Upton. It is an RBI single for Gold. His second RBI of the year. 2 nothing heaters. Now to bring up Theodore Stiffner. 0 for 1. Struck out his first time up. 0 for 6 in his last 6 at bats now. For a ball low in the dirt. Ball 1. Oh, trying to get out of the inning. Before things explode as that heater's inside. 1 and 1. Change of middle in is rip foul. 1 and 2 the count. Oh ahead. Fastball at the knees. Chop foul. Stiffner stays alive. 1 2 pitch coming. Curveball up and in. Line to short right at Glover. And that will end the inning as Stiffner's 0 for his last 7 as he is now tense. Bottom of 3. We extend our lead to 2 as Gold drives in a run on a 2 out single. 2 nothing to the bottom of the 3rd. Oh, Freely and Buffler do up for the Jacks. There's Donko. He's hitless on the air. Pitcher in his second game. Now facing the locked-in rookie Cole. Heater at the letters. Fouled back. 0-1. Ball down and then grounded the third right at Stiffner, who fields it cleanly to first. One down. Next up, Freely. 0 for 1 today for the left fielder as he's tense. Just change up away. Bloop to right center field and shallow. Rufo coming over. Lays out for it just out of his reach as it hops into his glove. That is a one out single for Freely as he's 1 for 2. He's up to neutral and Cole is down to neutrals. That'll bring up Buffler 0 for 1. Still locked in. Cutter down and away is chased in the dirt. Ball 1. Ball down and in is in the dirt. One and one. Change of down and in. Fouled back by Buffler. One and two the count. Four seamer down in the way. Fouled off. Buffler manages to stay alive. Cutter middle in. Swing through strike three. Third punch out for Cole. Two down. Runner at first for Sparks. Over one. Struck out her first time up. Cole locked in one more time. Change up, up and in is high. Taken. Ball one. 
Four seamer down and in is inside. Two and zero. Oh. Cutter down and in. That's chop foul by Sparks. Two and one. Change up and in. Out in front of it. Swinging. Two and two. Tough out active for Sparks again. Curve ball inside. Off the catcher's glove as the runner advances to second. Donovan corrals it, but the runner doesn't dance on the pass ball. Full count now. Cutter up and in. Foul back. We'll do it again. Fastball middle in. Swung through it. Strike three. Fourth punch out for Coles. Back to back K's end the inning. To the fourth. It is two to nothing. Hinton, Donovan, and base do up for the heaters in the fourth. Leading off, rookie Allen Hinton, who homered in his first career at bat. Let's see how he follows that plate appearance up. As he crushed a slider in the middle of the zone. Slider this time is outside from O as he's pitching a little more carefully. 1-0. and Fastball in the dirt. 2 -0. Look out now. Don't do it again. Donk. Fastball down and then blew it by him this time. 2-1 and one as it was out of the zone as well. Curveball middle away, line to right center field, and that is down for a hint as Hinton will have his second hit of the game. On with a single here to lead off the fourth. He's two for two. Swinging a good stick here. Now to bring up catcher William Donovan, 0 for 1 with the ground out the second his first time up. High pitch active for him. Fastball way in there, 0 and 1, down in the way. Fastball up, hard chopper to second, diving buffler to his left, no play at second, he'll go to first with it. One down as Donovan now tense after the pass ball last inning. Base up next, 0 for 1. Hinton locked in out there at second as that changeup's inside from O. Ball 1. Changeup down and in. Pulled foul. 1 and 1 the count. His base was a little early. Just chased a slider in the dirt. 1 and 2. Fastball up. Chopper up the middle. Backhanded by Buffler near the bag. He'll go to first with it. 2 down as Hinton advances to third. Now it'll give the RBI chance the bolter. 0 for 1 with a fly out to shallow right center last time up. Robbed on a nice sliding play by Betty Sparks. Fastball high, ball 1. Fastball inside, 2 0 the bolter. Slider at the knees, line to right center. Leaping is Buffler. He knocks it down. Can he recover in time? No, it's an infield single for Bolter who beats it out. RBI, first of his career as well as the runner scores. 3 0 heaters lead. Now to bring up Jameson Cole. Granted that the second is first time up. He's 0 for 1 as O is now tense. Runner goes on the first pitch. Slider down and in, uh, in, inside. Throw down is late as Bolter steals second base. So the speedy outfielder advances into scoring position. Bolter's uh, second steal of the season. He is 2 for 2. 1-0 count to the pitcher, Cole. RBI chance now for the pitcher. Fastball at the knees, 1-1. One one. Fastball up, grounded the second. It's right at Buffler on the backhand. He'll make the play to first, and that will end the inning. But the Heaters get another run on the board thanks to the RBI infield single by Volt Bolter. 3-0 to the bottom of the fourth. Jackson, Wilson, and Glover do up against Cole. Here's Jackson, 1-1 one one today with a single. First pitch fastball down and in. Strike called, 0-1. Change it down in the way is low in the dirt. One on one. Cutter middle away. Ripped foul by Jackson. Out of play. One and two. Curve up and in. Swung through it. Strike three. As that was a hanger and it surprised Jackson as much as it surprised myself. Fifth punch out for Cole. One down and that'll bring up Batch Wilson. One for one with a single. Contact is right hander still active here. Curveball inside. Beans him on the kneecap. And that will improve. Wilson's mojo and uh, take uh, Coles down to neutral. That'll bring up Glover, who walked his first time up. Little pitch still active for the shortstop. Fastball up. Strike called at the letters. 0-1. Cutter up and away. Outside. 1-1. One one. Change up up. Lined in the center field. Base hit for Glover. His first hit today. He's 1-1. One one. First and second now with one down for the Jacks. That is going to bring up downtown up to 0 for 1 today. Grounded into a double play his first time up with the bases loaded. First pitch curveball at the knees. Check swing. It's low. Ball 1. Fastball away. Line down the left field line into the corner. Glute giving chase won't get there, and that'll be extra bases for Upton. As Glute tracks down in the corner, one run is in. It is an RBI double for Upton. 3-1. Jack's on the board. As Cole is now tense. Now to bring up tough lift catcher, 0 for 1 today with a strikeout. 
Fastball up, taken for a strike, called at the letters, 0-1. Change up inside, misses, 1-1. One one. Her ball away, outside, 2-1. Cut her down and in, low, 3-1. Fastball up and in, chased it inside, full count now to lift. Change it down and away, foul off, we'll do it again. Seamer inside. Check swing inside. Ball four. Second walk today for Cole. Base is loaded. Now to bring up Donko, the pitcher. 0 for 1. No pinch hitter coming. This is his at bat. Cut her away. Fouled back. 0 and 1. Fastball down and in is low. 1 and 1. Purple down and away. Fouled back. 1 and 2. The count. Cut her up and in. Way inside, almost hits O as he backs out of the way. Two and two. Change it down and in. Foul off. We'll do it again. Fastball down and away. Outside and low. Full count. Cut her down and in. Chased it inside. Strike three. Six punch out for Cole. Two down. Base is empty for Freely. One for two with a single. Fog trying to deliver. This pitch change up down. It's low. Ball one. Better down in the way is outside, 2-0. Oh. Fastball down and in, strike called, 2-1. Curveball down and in is inside, check swing low, 3-1. Better middle of the plate, freely lines at center field, retreating Rufo, he's there on the liner, makes the catch, and Cole gets out of a bases loaded jam, only giving up one run on the double by Upton to the fifth. It is 3-1, Rufo, gluten gold, do up. Little Harry there. Little Harry. Whew. Rufo leading off. One for two today with a single. Last time at the plate. Still locked in. It's also flown out once. Fastball high from O. Misses. Ball one. Curveball middle in. Turned on by Rufo. Cracked to right center field. That's a short wall out there. It is off the top of the fence. Fireball coming at you into the Jacks bullpen. Home run for Rufo. First of his career. And that makes it a 4-1 here. As lead as we get that run right back. <laughs> Next up, Slapper Glute. Singled last time up. He is one for two today. He's also struck out once. His O is now tense again. Second homer given up by Ru O today is that heater's inside for a strike. 0 and 1. Chased the heater high. I don't know what I'm swinging at. 0 and 2. Chased it high again. Strike three. Third punch out for O. Second today for Glute. One down, and that'll bring up Gold. Singled in a run last time up. He is one for two. He's also grounded out the second once. Heater high in there at the letters, 0-1-1. Curveball middle in, bloop to left center field. That is sinking quickly and we'll get down for a base hit as that's Gold's second hit of the game. He is two for three. He's on at first with one down for Stiffner, 0 for two. Currently tense as he uh, lined out the short last time up. Curveball middle in, lined to short. Again, right at Glover for the second out as Stiffner's 0 for his last eight at bats. Now to bring up Hinton, the rookie's homered today. He's also singled. He's locked in in two for two. Singled last time at the plate. What can he do here? Put the pressure on O. Let's find out. For a ball in the dirt. Ball one. Peter high at the letters in there. One and one. Peter away. Strike called. One and two. Big pitch coming for O. Fastball outside. Blooped off the end of the bat to shallow center. Coming in Wilson. He'll get there to run it down, and that will end the inning as Hinton's retired for the first time in his career. But we get a run back on the home run by Ray's Rufo, first of his career. 4-1 to the bottom of the fifth. Buffler, Sparks, and Jackson do up. Buffler leading off over two today. Looking to turn things around here against Cole, who is still tense. First pitch change up down low. Ball one. Fastball up and away. That's high. 2-0. Oh. Her ball away. Outside. 3-0. and oh. Cut her down. Low ball four. Third walk today for Coles. The leadoff man's on here in the fifth. Got to bring up Sparks 0 for 2. Outside pitch active. Fastball down in the way. Strike called. 0-1. Oh Change it down and in. Low in the dirt. 1-1. One one. Cut her up and away. High. 2-1. Curveball down in the way. Sparks takes a check swing strike called at the knees. Two and two. Tough out active. Crowder down and in. Inside. Three and two. 
Fastball up and away. Lined up the middle. Base hit for Sparks. Her first, second hit today. Possibly first, I'm not sure. She's on, two on, none down for the Jackson, the fifth. Jackson up next, one for two with a single. Cut her down in the way on the first pitch is low. Ball one. Curve ball away, fouled back by Jackson, one and one. Jackson struck out swinging last time up. He's also singled today. Pass ball up and in, line to second, base dives. Makes the nice catch, fires at the first, gets off Sparks on the double play. Two down. Runner at second, and that'll bring up Batch Wilson. Hit by a pitch last time up. He's also singled and scored a run. He is one for one today. Good heads up play by base to get a double play out of there and take some pressure off of Cole. Fastball middle of the plate, lined in the hole to left center. That is into the gap for extra, for a single. Cut down by Glute as that'll hold the runner at first. RBI single for Wilson. It is four to two. Buffler scores from second, and that'll bring up Glover. One for one with a single and a walk today. Low pitch active for the shortstop. First pitch curveball up and away. Runner goes as it's outside. Throw down by Donovan. Just late. Stolen base for Wilson. He's in scoring position now. Wilson's first steal of the season. He's one for one. One of the count to Glover. Cut her middle up in the zone. Fouled off. One and one. Fastball up and in. Inside. Two and one. Call up over 90 pitches now. Change up and away. Strike called. Two and two. Big pitch coming. Cutter middle away. Line to third. Stiffner there on the dive. Makes the catch. And that ends the inning. Great play for Stiffner to save a run to the sixth. It is four to two. Jacks get a run back on the single by Wilson. To the sixth. Donovan base bolter in the pitcher slot due up fourth. Cole is going to be done after five innings. He's already up over 90 pitches. Not going to get that quality start out of him, but five innings is enough. Rookie catcher William Donovan leading off. He's over two today in tenths after making a dropped third, dropped a uh, ball on a wild pitch. High pitch active for the rookie against the tenths. O. Slider away at the knees. 0 and 1. Pitch there. Change up. Pulled to third. Jackson on the charge. Makes the play. One down. Next up is Dion Base. He's over two today. Still looking for his first hit of the contest. Her ball bounces. Ball one. Change up inside, misses, 2-0. Oh. Pass ball away, line to first, right at Upton, two down. Base is empty for Bolter, singled in a run last time up, and that'll do it for Donk O. Oh, after five and two-thirds, he exits, uh, striking out three batters, and doesn't walk anybody, and he gives up, I believe, uh, eight hits. Uh, he is in line for the loss. He's given up four earned runs. Coming out of the bullpen is rookie reliever Immaculo Spectaculo. And also coming in as part of the double switch is Bruno Adamo, the second baseman. He'll be playing his backup position of shortstop as they take out Rob Glover. Spectacular on the year, 0-1, a 1350 ERA and a 225 whip for the rookie. Made one appearance, throwing an inning in the third. He gave up two earned runs on three hits and a strikeout, taking the loss in that appearance. His batting average against is 429 on the year. Bolter switch hits now. Back to the left side of the plate as that heater's in there at the letters on the first pitch, 0-1. Fastball up and away, swung through it, 0-2 the count, as tough out activates for Bolter. Slider up and in, blooped into center field, base hit for Bolter, his second hit today, he is 2 for 3, and that will bring up the pitcher slot Cole, who we will pinch hit for. 0 for 2 day at the plate for Cole, but he pitched well enough to be in line for the win. Cole ends up going uh, 5 innings, gives up uh, 7 hits, I believe. He also walks 3 batters and gives up 2 earned runs, striking out 6. Good debut for the rookie in line for the victory, as we're going to go to the bench here. Coming off the pinch hit will be, hmm, I'll save Levo for later in the game. Uh, we're going to go to, what can you do, Jesus, you play third, right? Hmm. Better fielder than, what is your fielding at? Not bad, not bad. All right, we are going to pinch hit with, after some waffling, <laughs> we are going to go with uh, backup shortstop Busha Digman. Digman getting her second at bat as a pinch hitter this year. She is 0 for 1 as a pinch hitter, looking to find her first hit of the season. Former B Wolves shortstop. Change away, misses ball one. There it goes. Slider low. Throw down by lift is late. Stolen base for Bolter, his second of the game. He's 2 for 2 today and 3 for 3 on the season. 2 0 count to Digman. Please don't hang it, Spectacular. You will not enjoy it. 
Fastball open in, fisted to right center field, sinking quickly. No one's going to get there. It's an RBI pinch hit single for Digman. Coming in to score is Bolter from second. We get that run back. It is 5-2, and that is the first time this season we have scored more than four runs in a game. Rufo do up next. He homered last time at the plate. His first of his career. He's also singled. He's two for three. Slider inside. Misses. Ball one. Peter inside. Strike called. One and one the count. Slider away, misses outside, 2-1 the count. Fastball away, bloop the third, leaping is Jackson, making a nice catch as that will end the inning. Uh, I'm not going to double switch in Digman. I'm going to keep Stiffner in for now. Uh, we are going to bring in out of the bullpen. Oh, who do we do? We're going to bring in long reliever Boris Bigsworth to make his season debut as he'll come out of the bullpen here. Bottom six, we're up 5-2. to two. Upton, Lift, and Adamo do up against the veteran, 37-year-old Boris Bigsworth. Don't know where he used to pitch. I do know he has existed in this league prior. Here's hoping that he doesn't get shelled. <laughs> Upton leading off, doubled in a run last time up. He's one for two, facing the right-hander. Bigsworth making his debut. Long reliever, a three-pitch pitcher, slider, fastball, changeup. We'll see how this goes. Fastball down, fouled off, 0-1. Only a C-minus overall, so I don't expect much from him. He's more of a mop-up man. Changeup inside and misses, 1-1. One Slider down in the way is low, 2-1. and one. Fastball up, high, 3-1. and one. Fastball down and in. Chopped the middle, base hit for Upton, his second hit today. He is 2-3. for three. Lead off man on in the 6 for the Jacks. Now to bring up tough lift, catcher 0-1 for one today with a walk last time up. He's also struck out swinging once. First pitch change up, up and in. Inside, ball 1. Fastball down and then inside. One and one. Caught a strike. Slider down in the way. Chopped the first. Hinton there. Taps the bag for the first out. Throws the second. And they got Upton in a rundown. Base will run him down here. And that is a double play. Good heads up play by Hinton to start the double play. <laughs> agreed, Happy. Agreed. Yes. Uh, the Heaters playing much more consistently than the Buzzards did the last two years of that franchise. My God. Uh, we consistently score about four runs a game. I mean, granted, that doesn't win us every game, but it makes it competitive at least. Uh, coming up next is pinch hitter Bruno Adamo. He uh, came on as part of a double switch last inning at a shortstop, hitting 500 on the air. Basketball down and then is inside. Ball one. Heck, we're only two wins away from tying our... Uh, our win total from last the final year of the Buzzards franchise. I think we went 4-12. 2 pitch coming here to Adamo. Hitting 500 on the year. Grabbing the hold a short gold on the backhand. Makes the play to first, and that's going to end the inning as Bigsworth puts up a 0 in the 6th. To the 7th, it is 5-2. Glute, gold, and stiffener do up. Here's slapper Glute, 1-3 for three today with a single. He struck out twice, though, in his other two at-bats. Looking to face the rookie spectacular and make him pay. Heater high, ball one. Hard lineup coming up for the Heaters this inning. Change up in the knees, one on one. Fastball way, line to third, right at Jackson, who reaches above his head to make the catch, one down. Now to bring up rookie shortstop Jesus Gold. Two for three today with two singles. He's also driven in a run. Change up low, ball one. Next pitch is low from Spectacular, 2 0 the count. Fastball middle plate, line to deep right center field. Will that get over the high wall? Not quite. It's off the wall. That'll be another single for Gold. He is three for four as he does not run well. And that is a very shallow wall. <laughs> Little more money to shop around indeed. Yes, <laughs> agreed. <laughs> Definitely a lot better than the Jacks for sure who get, what, 800000 to start? Jesus. <laughs> I mean, the Buzzards had more money to shop around with at the beginning, but they had a more complete team as well. <laughs> Stiffner up next. He's 0 for 3 today. 0 for his last 8 uh, at-bats. Looking to find a way on here against Spectacular, who's struggling. Change up in there at the knees. Down and in. 0 and 1. Pass bumping in. Swung through it late. 0 and 2 the count to Stiffner. Chased it inside. Strike 3. First punch up for Spectacular today. 2 down. And that'll bring up rookie first baseman Alan Hinton. 2 for 3 today. He is homered and singled. Locked in right now at the plate. Flew out last time up. Or... No, he grounded out. Never mind. <laughs> Change up in there. Low. Ball one. Fastball outside. 2-0 the count. Look out now. Don't do it. He did it. Oh, my God. I forgot the swing. 
fuck! This should have been gone. Two and one. Chase the change up down and in. Two and two. Change about side. Rip foul. We'll do it again. Two and two. Change up and away. Pulled foul again. Looking to stay alive. Slider away. Line to right field. Base hit for Hinton as he'll drop that in in front of Sparks. Coming around second looking for third is Gold. Throw in is late. Runners at the corners with two down. Weather? Uh, it's pretty good. It was in the 50s earlier. Uh, it's up near 60 today. Uh, feeling pretty good. A little mild wind here and there, but nothing too serious. Uh, it's going to be up near, I believe, 65 tomorrow. That's going to be a good day. Uh, nice and sunny as well. No, uh, no clouds, but rain's coming on Thursday and Friday, so we'll see how that goes. That'll do it for Spectacular here. He goes an inning out of the pen. Coming out to the bullpen to replace him is veteran Elaine Munstar. Uh, what is 60? Uh, 60 Fahrenheit, I believe. Uh, what is that in Celsius? I'm not 100% sure. 60 minus 32 is what? 30 something? Math. 28. That's 28 degrees Celsius, I think. <laughs> One star coming out of the bullpen. Uh, where are you, Elaine? There you are. No record. A 675 ERA and a 225 whip. Two earned runs given up in three appearances, two and two-thirds innings pitch. She's given up five hits, a walk, a strikeout, and a 417 batting average against negative five. Holy crap, it's freezing up there. Well, I mean, it could be worse. It could be worse. So that's, what, 27? Mm. I mean, hey, it could be negative 15 or negative 20, so uh, it could always be worse. That is true. <laughs> All right, Donovan, rookie, still looking for his first hit, looking to put this game away. Can he get it done against Munstar? We'll find out. Both uh, pitcher and batter are tense here. You got the letters. I should have swung. 0 one Mild. Yeah, well, that's good. Chased it up and in. He'll pop it up. Right there is lift to make a catch, and that will end the inning. Donovan 0-4 for 4 today, and that will bring us to the bottom of the seventh. It is 5-2. Freely, Buffler, and Sparks do up here for the Jacks. Freely leading off, one for three today with a single as he'll face Bigsworth in his second inning of work. Change up at the knees, or slider at the knees. Jesus, that's the wrong pitch. Foul off, 0-1. Oh Change of middle in. Strike called to Freely, 0-2. Oh Fastball away. Line to right center over the leaping bases. Glove into the gap it goes. That'll be a single for Freely, his second today. As Rufo gets it in, he's two for four. Negative 35 or 40. Wow. And windy. Well, that's fair. That's fair. <laughs> I figured it could be worse. <laughs> well, for us, that's actually pretty good for this time of year. So, Just a hot streak across the entire con continent, it looks like. <laughs> uh, it's probably going to change pretty soon, I'm sure. Buffler's locked in here. He's trying to bring home a run. Slider at the knees on the first pitch. Ripped up the first baseline. Diving is Hinton. Taps the bag for the first out. Throw to second. In time to get Freely. Another double play made by Hinton as he's been on it today. Cold hell. I, I can imagine. It sounds like it. Jesus. <laughs> oh, man. I would not want to live up there. I do not. I am not a fan of the cold, honestly. <laughs> Sparks one for three today. Got her first hit last time at the plate. Is that heater's in there at the letters? 0-1. I... <laughs> Yeah, I think I would rather live here with that kind of weather, honestly. Swung through it, 0 and 2 the count as that changeup gets by Sparks. Slider inside. Ripped the left center field in the gap. Rufo lays out for it. Off his body as it one hops in front of him as he missed time to angle. Sparks' is second hit today. She's 2 for 4. Or 2 for 3. Ooh, Florida or Texas. Yeah, ooh. Well, I guess it depends on uh, what kind of dry heat you want. Jackson up 1 for 3. Uh, yeah, Florida's more moisture than anything, but it is consistently warm year-round. Uh, Texas, there are some parts in the panhandle where it is kind of windy. Uh, so it will be as, as almost as cold as that is up there in Calgary today. Uh, feeling like it with the wind shear. But uh, there are parts in the uh, other parts that are uh, warm almost always year-round. Uh, I think personally, I think Florida would be better than Texas. <laughs> Just because not only then, you also got the beaches, you got all the tourism down there as well. So, ooh, Arizona. Arizona's dry. It is a dry heat down there. Almost always dry. That has the least moisture of all of them. And I think it has the least amount of wind shear as well. Definitely more of a desert kind of heat. Pass but down and then strike call at the knees to Jackson. Gets uh, up near, I think, 105, 110 consistently in the... Uh, in the summer, which is, what, 70, 
70 Celsius. <laughs> hey, <laughs> whatever floats your boat. Slider away. Fouled off by Jackson. One and two the count to him. Pass bumping in is way high. Two and two the count. Change it down and in. Low in the dirt. Three and two. Pass ball down and away. Chased and fouled off. We'll do it again as runners are off with the pitch here. Change it down and in. Chased it inside strike three. First punch out on the year for Bigsworth, and that ends the inning to the eighth. It is five to two. Bottom of the lineup up for the heaters. Base, Bolter, and Bigsworth as we will pinch hit for him when he comes up. Ah, thank you. Yes. It's great in its own right. Other things not so great. But, you know, all around I think it's great. Weather-wise, it's definitely great because you have so many variations across the different segments of the world. Or country, I should say. <laughs> Base coming up here to lead off the inning, 0 for 3 and 10. So this month starts back to Neutral Moser after escaping the jam last inning. Heater inside on the first pitch, 0 and 1. Low on the fastball, 1 and 1. Fastball middle in, broken bat, blooper to left center. Down over Adamo's dive, base hit for base, his first today. He is 1 for 4. That bat dies a hero. Well, yeah, I didn't want to. I didn't want to say anything. I didn't vote for him. That's all I'm saying. I didn't vote for him. <laughs> Bolter leading uh, coming up next. He's two for three today. He is single twice, driving in a run. Heater high, ball one as the end corners are in, playing the bunt. Runner goes. Fast one side strike called. Throw down by lift. Just in time to get bases. He is caught stealing. Definitely thought we had that one there. Darn it. Bases uh first caught stealing of his career. He's one for two on the year now. Is that's a one-one count to Bolters? That pitch was a strike. Heater at the letters, one and two. Munstar tense. Tough out activates for Bolter. Fastball away. Bloop to left center field. It is dropping quickly. Freely coming in. We'll get there, though, for the second out. I uh, bring up the pitcher Bigsworth as we will pinch hit for the long reliever, giving us two scoreless innings out of the pen. Only gives up, I think, uh, two hits, and he strikes out a batter. So good, good inning for Bigsworth as he does good in his debut this year. Coming off the bench to pinch hit, we are going to go to first baseman Mantonio Levo as he'll come on. Hitting 313 on the air with two RBIs. Now relegated to the bench roll as Hinton's on the team. Curveball outside, ball one. Fastball outside, 2 0. Look out now. Don't hang it. Fastball middle in, rip to right. Leaping is Buffler, and that robs him of a hit as that ends the inning. Damn it, you bastards. Ah, <laughs> oh, shit. Well, can't really do much with that one, unfortunately, and I can't really double switch him off for anybody, so. Uh, coming out of the bullpen here is going to be rookie Emma Word. She'll replace Lavo on the mound. Bottom eight, it is five to two. Wilson, Munstar, and Upton do up. Yeah, yeah, I think it's that's coming around the entire world, unfortunately. Can't really get away with away from it. Oh well, it is the culture. I'm sure it'll change eventually. Wilson leading off the inning, two for two today. He has singled twice, and he's also been hit by a pitch once. Uh, locked in with contact for his right-hander active against the rookie, Emma Word, making her second appearance of the season. In her first, her debut, she pitched two scoreless innings, striking out a batter, walking a batter. Batting average against a zero, and a whip of 050 with an ERA of zero. Word looking to get us through the eighth and the ninth here. Fast, but down in the way is low, ball one. Two seam up and in, that is high, 2-0. A ball inside. Ooh, misses on the check. 3-0. Slider middle in. Strike call. 3-1. Passable down and in. Foul off. Full count. He's going to it away. Chased it outside. Strike three. First punch out today for Word. One down. Yeah, I agree. There's good people everywhere in bad times. They just It'll just take a while for them to come back to the top. Pinch hitting for Munstar is backup catcher Clutch Corman. Hitless on the air, looking for his first hit of the season. Her ball up and in on the first pitch is high from Emma. Ball one. Slider down in the way is low. 2-0. Two, Two seamer at the knees. Strike called away. 2-1. and one. Four seamer up and away. Outside. 3-1 and one the count. Slider up and in. High ball four. First walk today for Emma. Is, uh, Corman will reach. He'll be on at first. One down for Upton, who singled last time up. He's also doubled on a run. He is two for three today. First pitch, two seamer at the knees. Strike called away, 0 and 1. Slider down and in. Blocked in the dirt by Donovan, 1 and 1. Fastball down and away. Swung through it outside, 1 and 2 the count. Third ball inside. 
Strike three called. Word gets her second punch out of the inning. Two down. And that'll bring a tough lift to catch her. 0 for 2 today with a walk. Let's see if he can keep the inning alive here for the Jacks and bring the go a tying run to the plate. It's in the on-deck circle. Or seamer down and in is inside. Ball one. Curve ball down and in. Ripped the third. Stiffed him there. Passed him into the corner. It goes as it's up the line and all the way to the wall. On his horse, the third is Corman. He will come around. Cut throw from Stiffner is late. RBI double for lift. First of his career as that makes it a 5-3 game. That'll bring up Adama who represents the tying run. Pinch hitting for him is Spack, is a normal center fielder, rookie Razzie Dazzler. Hitting 167 and is currently tense on the year. Looking to drive in her first run of the season. But that's a tough task as lift out there at second does not run well. Pass ball down and in. Strike called inside. 0 and 1. Slider away is outside. 1 and 1. Uzimer down and away is low. 2 and 1. Pass ball up and in. Bloop to right field and shallow. Bolter coming on. Gets there as he catches the sinking liner and that ends the inning. Coming out of the bullpen to replace Corman. It is right hander Keisha Mushara. She'll be on the mound to the ninth. It is five to three. Rufo, gluten gold, due up as the former B-Wolves pitcher looks to keep it a two-run deficit. Top of the lineup up for the heaters here on the ninth. Uh, Rufo leading off, locked in with a homer, single and an RBI, as we'll take a look at Mushar's numbers here. Coming off the bench to play third base is Yo-Yo Yamamoto, the rookie, as he'll move Jackson over to shortstop as Dazzler will exit. Looking at Mushar's numbers on the year, Keisha has no record, a 771 ERA and a 257 whip. In her two appearances, she's thrown two and a third innings, giving up two runs, four hits, two walks, and two strikeouts, batting average against 400 on the year for Mushara. Uh, let's have a look. Ooh, nice. World of Outlaws racing. Ooh, those, those are always fun. I do, I do enjoy them from time to time, but uh, I'm more of a NASCAR guy myself. I hear they're a good time. Enjoy yourself down there, man. It's going to be great. I can imagine the atmosphere now. It's going to be electric. There'll also be a lot of alcohol. <laughs> Rufo leading off the inning. Pass ball inside. Misses ball one. Char comes into this appearance. Tense as that changeup's outside. 2-0. and Pass ball down and then broken back grounder to third. Charging Yamamoto. He'll make the play. One down. <laughs> Glued up next, one for four with a single as he's currently tense, looking to break through here against Mushara. Fastball in there, 0 and 1. Chased, ooh, almost chased it outside on the check swing, 1 and 1. Fastball up and in, swung through it, 1 and 2, the count. Fastball away, bloop foul. Yamamoto gives it an effort, but it's out of his diving reach, 1 and 2. Fastball down in the way, chopped up the middle, cutting it off Jackson behind the bag, he'll fire to first. Just in time to get glute two down. Oh, nice. Love it. <laughs> Glad you guys love it so much. I didn't know it was running the family. <laughs> Gold up next. That's up and in inside. 1-0. and oh. Rookie's got three hits today. Change up inside low. 2-0. and oh. Fastball hangs. Driven right center field. And Gold got all of that one. Fireball coming at you in the haters bullpen as it is gone. Home run for Jesus Gold, his first of his career, and that makes it a 6-3 game as we get that run back. <laughs> Keeping it a constant three-run lead, I love it. <laughs> Stiffner do up next, 0 for 4 today in tenths as he's 0 for his last a 9 at-bats. <laughs> Trying to turn it around. Pass ball away, misses ball 1 outside. Heater up and away, high, 2-0. and oh. Look out now, don't do it. Check swing outside. Good take on the changeup. Misses. 3 0. Composed activates for Mushara. Fastball down and in. Strike call. 3 1. Fastball middle in. Lined by Stiffner to right field, but it's right at Sparks. It's 0 for his last 10 as that ends the inning. Bottom nine. It is 6 3. Freely. Buffler and Sparks do up. His word's going to try and get the save here. Would be the first of her career. Freely leading off 2-4 at the top of the lineup today with two singles. We are going to make some defensive substitutions here. Uh, Maggie Rags is going to come on and play third base for Stiffner. He's just not having a good day. Hank Hart's going to come on and play catcher for Donovan. And that is it. I'm not bringing him nubs on the off the bench. You can just sit over there, Murky. <laughs> uh, word going for the save here. Let's see how this goes. Curveball away in the first pitch. Popped up shallow center field going out for gold. He'll get there and call off Rufo for the first out. Next up, Buffler 0 for 3 with a walk. 
Fastball up and away is high. Ball one. Slider up and in. Chase it inside. One and one. Two seamer down in the way. Check swing low. Two and one. Fastball down and in. Chased it in the dirt. Two and two the count. Third ball away. Line at the middle. Gold dives for it. Makes the catch. Nice play. Jesus. Two down. Base is empty for Sparks. Two for four today with two singles. She represents the last chance for the Jacks today. Fastball up on the first pitch. High. Ball one. Two seamer down and in. Low. Two and oh. Slider down and in. Inside. Three and oh. We're approaching over 30 pitches now on this pitch. Fastball up. Strike call. Three and one. Third ball up. Ball four. Just high. Second walk today for Word. Sparks reaches. And that'll bring up Juice Jackson as the tying runs in the on-deck circle now. Jackson one for four today with a single. Two seamer down and in on the first pitch is low. Ball one. Curve ball down and away in the dirt. Two and oh. Four seamer down and away. Check swing strike called. Two and one. Slider middle in. Fouled back by Jackson. Two two the count. Two seamer down and away. Grounded in a hold of second. Base dives. Knocks it down. Great play by Dion. Fires the first in time. And that ends the game as the Jack fall short today against us as we win 6-3 to three, the final as we had a lot of first here in this game new rookies made a lot of impacts outside of Donovan uh, man it was great great game today a lot of single runs out there on the board no crooked innings but no crooked number innings but we'll take it big win there good days for both offensive hits wise we just happened to hit them out of the ballpark a little bit more often <laughs> Alrighty, looking at the box scores, uh, Rufo had a solo homer, first of his career. Jesus Gold also had a, his first career solo home run. He also had four hits today. He also singled in a second run. Uh, Alan Hinton, the rookie, homered in his first career at bat. As his first strike he saw, he crushed it over the right center field wall. Uh, Volt Bolter had an RBI single. That's the first of his career. Uh, Busha Digman had a pinch hit RBI single as well. Very good day for our offense. Uh, hitless today for us, though, were Stiffner. Uh, Donovan and I believe Cole as well, yes, as well as Levo. On the other side for the Jacks, only 11 hits today, but it's not horrible. RBIs today for Batch Wilson on a single, Downtown Upton on a double, and Tough Lift with a single as well. Or actually, I think it ended up being a double for him because I think we threw home. So three RBIs today for them. Hitless for them, though, were Buffler, uh, Corman, he drew a walk in his only plate appearance, uh, O, Adamo, and Dazzler. Pitching lines, Jamison Cole gets the win in his debut, going five innings. He gives up seven hits, three earned, or three walks, two earned runs, and strikes out six batters. He improves to 1-0. and oh. Emma Ward gets her first career save, throwing two innings in relief, giving up a hit, uh, earned run, of two walks, and two strikeouts. Her first career save. Bigsworth gets the hold. He goes two innings in his debut, giving up three hits and a strikeout. On the other side for the Jacks, Donko, five and two-thirds. He gives up eight hits, four earned runs, three strikeouts, two homers. He takes the loss, falls to 0-2. Spectacular, an inning out of the bullpen, giving up four hits, one earned run, and a strikeout. Munstar, an inning in the third, giving up a hit. And Keisha Bouchard gives up a hit, which ends up being a home run and an earned run in her one inning of work. Player of the game is Jesus Gold with his four-hit day, along with his first career home run, followed by Alan Hinton in his debut going 3-4 with his first career home run, and Ray's Rufo with his 2-for-5 day and his first career home run, all three of our guys that went yard today. Not bad. That was a great day. great episode. Now I'm feeling it. Yeah, it gets me in the mood for that double header later tonight. Well, that's good. We're now three and two as we finish off the road trip with a winning record. We'll now go home for the first time this season as we'll kick it off in style with a double header against our division rivals, the Platypie. First two of three this year against them. Their third game will be on the road at the uh, Colonial Plaza. Let's have a look around the league and see what roster moves were made. I see a couple of guys getting signed. One guy got signed out of here, actually. I thought it would be more. What do we got? It's Leonidas Zoner, the veteran left rookie left fielder, was picked up to replace Landon Fair, the young second baseman. Interesting. Okay. All right. I like Landon Fair. Might bring him on. I think that's the rest of the Freebooters' money, though, so we'll see how that works out for them. Because they spent all their other money last episode on Elmo Slayer, so we'll see if they have any money left over after that move. Uh, I'll go ahead and star Landon. I do like him. There you are, Landon. You are down to a C overall, though. 
You are a work in progress for sure, but I'd like you better than Maggie Rags, and that is what matters. <laughs> Jamie Pollard looking good, still young, still a little bit expensive for what I'm looking for. I want him down about $5 million, maybe a little under, and then I'll consider signing him. Anyone who pays over $5 million for that skill level is stupid. Uh, obviously, I like Dig at fourth, though. Can't have a rebuild without Dig. Uh, moving down the list, uh, we got Donkey and Huynh, both still out there at 7-4. Uh, I don't like either of them enough to sign them because I love Ray's Rufo, obviously, out there in center. And Volt Bolter is actually a caliber quality backup, and he's being forced to play right field because our right fielder is ass. So, Moving down to right field, Ayala's at 7-1. I need you under 7 before I even consider thinking about it because you have Whiffer, so got to keep that in mind. Uh, moving down the, to the pitching. Thomas at 9.6. That's a little expensive for a B plus if you're asking me. Uh, need him down near 9. Uh, Rubio's in a good spot probably to be signed here at 6.9. Uh, is it going to be worth it to pick him up? Probably not because I like Cole. Obviously, I pitched well with him today. Fuller, he's due to pitch next, and he would be the replacement the person who would be replaced with for money, you know. Uh, I do like Fuller. I don't intend to get rid of him anytime soon. I pitched well with Lovestone. And Hiker, I pitched well with as well, surprisingly. So I'm not going to sign Rubio here or Thomas. So I'm just going to unstar both of them. Uh, we are going to stick with Frederick Murray, though. He is at 5'6". I want him down under 5 million, and then we'll discuss. Uh, Baron, uh, ooh, 9.5 and 9 for her. A little expensive. I know they're going to sign her for, like, eight million dollars or maybe eight and a half so while to go there Quintero's at six four she's ready to be signed Johnson will probably get down to like six million before she gets signed uh so do we want either of these two uh bad enough to pick them up honestly not really I mean we would like to get rid of Bigsworth at some point do we want to spend all that money now I don't know that's the question. Bigsworth would be obviously the person we would be getting rid of here because we like Never Walker right now. Uh, Word we're doing well with. We're dip. Piddle Sticks, she's only had one appearance, so she needs to do better in her second outing. So I don't want to get rid of her necessarily just yet. Plus, I love the specialist on her. Uh, getting rid of Bigsworth, what would that do for our money situation? That'd be either $4.3 million or $4.2 million. Both are better uh, than him by leagues and bounds. Uh, same pitches here on Quintero almost. Yeah. Curveball instead of slider. So same pitch selection here with Johnson. Johnson is older, though. That's the holdup. She is 28. Uh, Quintero is 24. So I would lean towards Quintero in this situation. And honestly, I don't want to necessarily want to spend $6.4 I kind of want to get her go one more and see what happens because we are playing well right now, so I don't want to make a move unnecessarily and spend money too early. So we'll wait. We won't sign anybody this episode. Go ahead and sim up to our next game here as we're going to sit through a couple games here. We're now tied for the division lead with the Wide Loads, Platypie, and B-Wolves. See how this shakes out here. Herbicers hold off the Moose Rally. They win 8-6 as they tie the Freebooters atop the division at 4-1. Grapplers win here against the Wide Lows. They uh, move up to 3-2 as they take the division lead. Beavils then win again. Now they have the division lead <laughs> as they beat the Crocs, I believe. Crocs now 1-4 on the year. Sawteeth beat the here Herbicers 12-7, giving the Freebooters the division lead back. And the Moose win 10-3, getting their first win of the season as they improve to 1-5 on the year. Okay, so every team now has a win. Every team has a loss. <laughs> right now, we are half game out of first. We have a positive run differential, something we haven't seen since year seven of the uh, Buzzard franchise. So, yay. <laughs> oh, it's sad. Those are small victories I'm celebrating, but it is what it is. Uh, this is still anybody's division. Everybody is within a game of the top spot, so we don't have any separation right now, meaning this doubleheader against the Platypi next episode is going to have a lot of meaning behind it. Both teams come into the matchup at 3-2 and two, with a spot half a game out of first place. On the mound, veteran right-hander Stubby Tubrick for the Platypi. 1-0 with a 318 ERA and a 176 whip. And for us, it'll be veteran Bishop Fuller, the southpaw, 1-0 with a 0 ERA and an 088 whip. Fuller, of course, in his first start uh, through eight shutout innings en route to a shutout victory over the mm, Crocodons. 
Almost said Nemesis, and we lost to them. <laughs> Looking around at player developments. Okay, so this one for Glute is still here. I do like this one for Glute. Um, Emma Word, that's a decent cheap upgrade. I like that. It'll be here next time. This one, however, takes the cake. This is the one we want to get for Piddlestick. There is a high chance of K-Man and improving her velocity. Lord, I don't ask for much, but next time when we go for this, please give me this trait. <laughs> Please. Dumb one. Uh, solid one, but we'll never be able to afford it. And no. J no. <laughs> you don't get upgrades, Maggie. I'm trying to get rid of you. <laughs> Alright, so we'll save enough for that thing for Piddlestick next time out. Let's go ahead and set the lineup for next episode, and we'll call it a day. Oh boy. A lot of ups, a lot of downs. We're going to need to sort this out. <laughs> <laughs> Leading off next episode will be rookie catcher Hank Hart as he'll be back in the lineup. Uh, Ray's Rufo in center is locked in. He'll bat second. Gold locked in at shortstop. He'll bat third. Uh, Hinton locked in at first base. He'll bat fourth. Glute in left field is tenth. He'll bat fifth. Stiffner tenth at third. He'll bat sixth. Uh, base tenth at second. He'll bat seventh. Bolt Bolter bats eighth and right. And Fuller will bat ninth on the mound. And that'll do it for this episode, guys. Big win today as we held off the Jacks to win six to three. Uh, we end the winning uh, road trip on a, with a winning record at 3-2 and two. now. We are a half game out of first place, and we are doing into our first doubleheader of the year next episode against the Platypie, which could make or break our chase for the division title, and also whether or not we make certain roster moves moving forward. Um, if you made it this deep in the video, guys, thank you so much for sticking around, and uh, I appreciate all the support as always. If you haven't already, hit the follow button down below here on Twitch to be notified next time I go live. And if you haven't already on YouTube, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel, link to Twitch in the description below, and I'll see you all in the next episode. Until then, this is The Nasty One, signing off.